back to another Prince of HQ video. Today we have a different style career mode video. Now this is actually my second shot recording this because first time my mic went really quiet for some reason. Don't know why, but either way, let's get straight into it. I know this se type of series has already been done. The Master Books has done it, Channing Sports has done it. Um, but I really wanted to look at it, almost like hidden gems in career mode players, which are a bit more unusual, a bit more unique that other teams wouldn't always do. So here is Saudo Berahino of West Brom. Berahino, sorry, not Berahino. It's a bit of an awkward name. Here we have um, him at my full potential, which I could get him in to uh, from around eight to 10 seasons in. And Berahino, uh, Berahino at starting rating of 67. So if we look at his physical attributes, you can see that he gets, he becomes a really, really quick player and he really, really does boss it out sprint speed wise. His stamina does improve to a 71 as well, which isn't too bad either. His strength is quite good as well. Not amazing. I believe that's 69 I see in there, but um, it's, it's not amazing though, but it's definitely quite good for his size. He has a great bit of agility on him and can sprint around defenders. Like I said, he is an agile, quick player. If we look at his skill attributes now, he does grow quite consistently in all areas. And as we do um, carry on this series with different players, we will be looking more in depth of how players grow and whether there's any sort of similarities or common like reoccurrences on players. And one of the reoccurrences that is happening at the moment is that the stats grow consistently. There isn't any stats which shoot up um, for example, marking doesn't suddenly grow up by 30 and then other stats only grow by 2. It is really quite consistent. There is a range of around 6 um, differences in growth in each singular stat. So, for example, we have um, like dribbling and here in curves, which really does progress at the same sort of rate. So now at the end of each video of this series, oh my god, ice cream ran outside, sorry, but at the end of each series we will be um, having a look at the overall thought of this player. He has a growth of plus 13 in my career mode and he um, really he suits a 3 to 3.5 star team which is a championship range club. His price range is normally available from 500,000 to up to 1.5 million. Sometimes you may have to pay 2 or maybe even 3 million for him though depending on just depending on pot look to be honest. A unique selling point is that he's an underrated player to buy in career. Nobody seems to buy him, so he's not used as often. And he always seems to beat potential. He really is a hidden gem that people really don't buy very often. And trust me, buy this kid if you're a championship club. And even if you're a low-rated Premier League club like West Brom, he's in the perfect team already from the off, being at West Brom. Because if you are starting a West Brom career mode, then he is an excellent player to buy, even if you're starting one with... A team like Millwall, um, Cardiff in the Championship, Wolves, which would be quite controversial, obviously, um, Leicester even. All of them teams can do really, really well with this kid. On my overall thoughts, I have given him a four star out of five star. This is based on um, value for money, whether I like the player, how, how he plays. I think he's very good. He plays very well. He pretty much lives up to his potential and does score goals. He is a natural born goal scorer. And you've got to admit a growth of plus 13. And um, he does hit his prime at around 27 to 29 years old. It seems to be uh, another reoccurrence factor in career mode this year. Their new engine seems to be sort of like he they hit potential almost at 30 pretty much. And he really does grow quickly. He grows very well suited for a championship club. And trust me, you can follow this player up to the future. He is a really underrated player on career mode. And in my opinion, in real life too, he isn't used very often. And he's a really, really unique option as well. So that's the reason why I did say to Berahino, he always seems to beat his potential. He always seems to play really well. And he is a unique and rare option on career. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. If you don't quite understand the point I'm putting across here, then make sure you ask me in the comments because it has almost been hard to put into words what I think of Berahino in a way because he's one of them players in career mode, yet he hasn't got that 90 potential. But trust me, he is awesome and he really suits the club that he's worth. 
So anyway, I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Again, in this series, I could be looking into some of these players in my Everton career. So if you haven't checked that out, make sure you do. And make sure to keep up to date, you smash subscribe for any more player reviews. Suggest your player.